Ah, Master Zael. I knew you were something special from the moment I saw you. I do hope you will keep up the good work. If this expedition works out, the Count's fame will rival anyone's in the Empire. That means that the way will be open for ourselves to become famous. We should get out of this job before it's too late. I don't want to die! Though it pains me to admit it, I too was of little use on the field of battle. But next time we shall show our true mettle. You are listening to me, right? Hello? Is there any jewel in the world that is beautiful enough to suit me? We should get out of this job before it's... It seems that new boy Zale. I can't believe there's really gonna be a war. Be serious. It'll never come to that. I hope you're right. I just want to live my life in peace. I believe a man called Zale has taken the Count's interest. He must have, if he's really the one who set this island to moving. Hmm. Perhaps we should pay our respects to him and Lady Callista later. But what of Lord Jural? Huh. <laughs> what of him? That disgrace's time has come and gone. I hear that man they released, Zale, is quite the swordsman. He couldn't possibly compare to us noble knights. The Count seems to think highly of him. Relying on some mercenary. He's dishonouring us, I tell you. Hey, you look kind of down. Anything you want to talk about? This whole outsider thing bothers me. I felt something weird in the realm of Ascendancy. Like I was in a whirlpool, surrounded by thoughts and emotions. And they were calling out to me, to set them free. I think the Outsider is a lot more than we think it is. And? So what if it is? Uh... Look, Zale. Jural still hasn't given up on his attempts to try and get rid of us. It's not just Jural either. Lots of people here who'd be happy to see us gone. This place is a battlefield. Just like any other. Do you understand, Zale? I know, but... It's fine to think about the Outsider a bit, but try to prioritize your survival first. Right. Ah, high society. How does it feel, Zale? I don't know. It's too different to what I'm used to. But you seem to be just fine, Lord. It must be because of your noble blood. My blood's got nothing to do with it. It's just a question of time. Hang around in these fancy places enough and you soon figure it out. Oh, everything I've done is a waste. Don't say that. You're a man of fine social standing. None of that means anything. Now I've met you. Goodness, that was smooth. Very well. Would you take me out to dinner? So now we're taking the fight to the Grac, are we? Save your griping. We'll just send in those mercenaries first. Wonderful. We can be safe at the back. No need for us to stick our necks out. <laughs> of course not. I mean, hell, we're practically nobles ourselves. Oh, everything I've done is all. Someone pinched me. Seems like yesterday that every man and his dog treated us like crap. And now we're strolling through the castle. What now? The 
book's still out on loan, and I can't find a copy for sale anywhere. Doesn't anybody have a copy of The Art of Magic? Marania, what are you doing here? Oh, just a smidgen of research. Sale, when we were in the realm of Ascendancy, did you sense anything? Like a voice that was in pain? Yeah. Glad it wasn't just me. Ever since we came here, I thought it was odd. Everywhere I've been, the land is dying. But here, the land is flourishing. It's unreal. I think it's linked to the Outsider's power. The Outsider seems to have the same kind of power as the Guardians do. But I think they're different somehow. Wow. You've been thinking about this quite a bit. Are you on to anything yet? Nothing definite. All I know is that this island used to be desolate and uninhabitable. But that changed after the Argonum founder used the Outsider's power to build the cannon. Then it's all tales of rejoicing and prosperity. What bothers me is that there's nothing written about what the Outsider is. It's strange. It's like someone has cleverly covered their tracks. Right. I see. If we can discover the Outsider's secret, that could give us a vital clue as to why the land is dying. That's my hypothesis anyway. That's why I'm conducting research. Yeah, just make sure the Count doesn't find out. It's fine. You needn't worry about me. Mm, what now? <sighs> I'm so tired. I can't handle any more studying today. I hear that man they released, Zale, is quite... Lord Jaran. Then I want some answers. Wait! Why is this happening? Why are you after me? Who sent you? Think I'll talk. Ah. No!
Sotherius is at the lookout point. Don't keep your superiors waiting! How do they expect us to finish these repairs in only three days? Some people just have no grip on reality. Oh, hey there! You want me to improve all that shiny equipment you've got? Leave it to me. I won't charge much. Well? Well? Have you managed to increase the firepower? Just you watch. All it needs is an artisan's touch. Learning the island can move was a shock. What, you're not scared, are you? What a sight your face makes! <laughs> I'm always working down here. I bet they do as they please at the lookout point. A lot of mysteries locked up on this island, how it moves being one of them. How is it? The feeling of having your very own island. What are you talking about? I don't own the island. With that power, you are capable of moving the entire island as you see fit. If that is not ownership, then what is? I'm not going to use this power for my own gain. Hmm. <laughs> Just remember this. The fate of many lives will depend upon how you decide to use that power. Those who bear power must also accept the responsibility that comes with it. Responsibility.